Lexivisaurus. Lexivisaurus is a genus of Stegosaur from mid to late Jurassic Europe, 164.7 Maya. Fossils of limb bones and armor fragments have been found in middle to late Jurassic Age strata of England and France. Discovery In the early 1880s collector Alfred Nicholson Leeds acquired a skeleton of a dinosaur excavated at a small brick pit at the hamlet of Tunhold, close to I, Cambridgeshire. In September 1885 the remains were shown to paleontologist Henry Woodward whose notes form the first documentation on the subject. Later it was mistakenly assumed the find had been made at the industrial brick pits at Fletton, the usual source of lead specimens. In 1887 the fossil was described by John Whitaker Hulk and named as a new species of the Stegosaurian Amasaurus, Amasaurus durobrivensis. The specific name referred to the old Roman town of Durobrivi. On May 30, 1892 the specimen was bought by the British Museum of Natural History. The holotype, BMNHR 1989, was found in the Peterborough member of the Oxford Clay Formation, more especially the Cosmoceras Jason biozone dating from the Middle Colovian. Hulk mistakenly assumed a provenance from the Younger Kimmeridge Clay Formation. It consists of a sacrum of five vertebrae, and two ilia. Other bones were referred to the species, among them two plates thought to be part of the dermal armor. However, on August 22, 1888 Othniel Charles Marsh visited Leeds' collection at Iberi and recognized these elements as belonging to a giant fish, in 1889 by Arthur Smith Woodward named Leeds Sictes. The plates are in fact part of the latter's skull roof. In 1915 Amasaurus durobrivensis was renamed Acentrorus durobrivensis, as the name Amasaurus had been preoccupied, which had already been indicated by Marsh in the 1870s. In 1957 the French paleontologist Robert Hofstetter created a separate genus for the species, Lexivisaurus. The generic name is derived from the Lexivii, a Gallic tribe in ancient times inhabiting the region of Normandy, where several Stegosaurian specimens had been discovered which by Hofstetter were referred to Lexivisaurus. While the type species remains Amasaurus durobrivensis, the Combinatio nova is Lexivisaurus durobrivensis. Hofstetter also referred a much more complete stegosaurian skeleton in 1901 discovered by Leeds in the Fletton Brick Pit, specimen BMNHR 3167 that in 1911 had been named Stegosaurus priscus. Subsequently, in 1964, Oscar Kuhn referred the nomen nudum Amasaurus leedsi Sili Vadi in 1901 to Lexivisaurus as Lexivisaurus leedsi. In 1983, Peter Galton renamed Amasaurus vetus de Suna 1910 into Lexivisaurus vetus dis. However, in 2008 Susanna Maidman and colleagues concluded that the holotype of Lexivisaurus, BMNHR 1989, was undiagnostic, so they split off BMNHR 3167 and the French finds naming them as a separate new genus, Lauricatosaurus. This made Lexivisaurus a nomen dubium, while Ovidistus was found to be undiagnostic and declared a nomen dubium. Other workers though, combining the English material collected by Leeds due to its shared provenance, have considered Lexivisaurus a valid taxon. In the meantime, Amasaurus vetustus has been renamed Eoplophysis, although this genus is not regarded as valid. The nomen nudum Amasaurus leedsi, mistakenly considered a nomen dubium by Maidman et al. 2008, has since been referred to Lauricatosaurus. Description If Lexivisaurus is limited to the holotype, little information about it is available apart from it having a general stegosaurian build and a pelvis width of 114 cm. Part of the material described by Hulk was a left femur, specimen BMNHR 1991, with a length of 99 cm, indicating a body length of about 5 m, 16.5 feet. The Fletna Normandy material, suggesting a body length of about 6 m and a weight of 2 tons, show a combination of narrow flat plates on the back and round pointed spines that ran along the tail. A large spine was found that by Hofstetter was placed on the shoulder, by Galton on the hip and by Maidman on the tail. Hofstetter assigned Lexivisaurus to the Stegosauridae and Stegosaurini in 1957.